The 3D Markup widget allows managers, designers, and engineers to provide quick and clear indications of design intent or modification. In this case, the design of an aircraft interior has been subject to a design review and the results of the meeting have been passed on to us for approval. As you can see, there are three specific slides that have been created for us to approve as they are the most crucial to indicate design intent. In slide one, you see the design specifications behind the type of air vents, placement of vents, and seat legroom have been specified. This seems satisfactory, so we will move on. Next up, we're reviewing the vents distance from the passenger. As you can see, the distance is acceptable, so we can move forward. Lastly, the aisle width is indicated and is within the expected limitations for this aircraft. At any time, we may use the tools given to us by the 3D Markup widget to indicate other design critical features to communicate before approval. In this case, we have used the measure tool to specify the area of the back floor panel and the length of the armrest. 3D Markup can also be used to communicate design changes that are required. In this case, a bracket on a flat mechanism has been flagged since the stiffeners do not meet the design requirements. In this case, the stress engineer has indicated that the stiffeners in the shown area should be cut by 30 millimeters. As the design manager, we approve this modification and now begin the process of raising an issue to assign this design task in order to begin work and design approval. As you can see, we can directly raise the issue inside of 3D Markup and assign it to the proper designer. When the designer receives the notification of the work assigned, they can quickly open up the issue, see the products involved, open up the 3D markup, and begin work. 